Did you know that there's a real life fairy tale library that inspired Beauty and the Beast in Austria? Yep, and it's called Admont Abbey Library. It's a book lover's dream come true, so keep watching to find out more. And welcome back to another video. My name is Sophie from Third Eye Traveller, and today I'm here at the world famous Admont Abbey, um, which is home to Admont Abbey Library, which was the inspiration for the library in Beauty and the Beast. And I'm so excited to go inside, so let's have a look around and check out this amazing library. So yes, Admont Abbey Library is truly a magical destination and a real life fairy tale library in Austria. Ever since I was a little girl, Beauty and the Beast has been my favourite Disney movie and I've always wanted to twirl in amongst the bookshelves of Beast's library like Belle. So I was over the moon to finally make my dreams come true by visiting this elaborate book trove. Admont Abbey Library is the world's largest monastic library that sits within a monastery of Benedictine monks who have been practicing their faith here for nearly a thousand years. Many people call this Renaissance Gallery of Tomes the eighth wonder of the world and it's been often voted as the most beautiful library on earth. The Great Library is 70 meters long with a width of 14 meters and a ceiling height of 11 meters and the central cupola dome has a height of 12 meters. The gallery is split into three parts with cupolas and seven ceiling frescoes that date back to the Renaissance. There are 48 windows that light the space with natural daylight, so on darker days this library can be quite dark. In all the bookshelves here, Admont Abbey Library has over 70,000 books on display in their collection that you can see, but they actually have over 200,000 books in their archives. The most valuable being a gold bible and manuscripts dating back to the 8th century including in Cunabula. It was commissioned by Abbot Matthaus Offner in 1776, and it was designed in the Baroque style by the Austrian architect Joseph Huber. As well as books, there are statues and reliefs that have a theme of enlightenment, and you can see the four last things that represent death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Thankfully, this book trove survived the Great Admont Fire of 1865. As well as being an eighth wonder, many people believe that this library inspired Beast's library in Beauty and the Beast. So if you're a fan of Beauty and the Beast or A Court of Thorns and Roses, you have to put this magical book trove on your bucket list. Thankfully, it's really easy to visit from the capital city of Vienna. You can take a direct train from Wien Westenbahnhof on Saturdays and Sundays. It does set off around 7 a.m. and it will take you four hours to get here but it is so worth it. Beyond the library, Admont Abbey has many different things to do. They have a wonderful coffee shop and restaurant called Stift Keller Admont. Here you can treat yourself to an afternoon tea, a beer, wine, coffee, or you can have one of their Stift Braten roasts. This is a monastery roast with pork, dumplings, and sauerkraut. In the courtyard, you can visit the historic Admont Abbey Church of St. Blaise. This was originally built in 1074, but after the Great Fire, it had to be rebuilt in 1869. The design was based on Regensburg Cathedral in Bavaria and it was rebuilt by Wilhelm Butcher. Entry is free, but donations are always appreciated. Even just wandering around the Admont Abbey grounds was like a fairy tale. I couldn't believe the amazing views and gardens you could get just from wandering around the grounds and the views of the Alps. It's well worth taking a scenic stroll around the grounds to see the rose gardens and fountains and statues. It was honestly so peaceful compared to the busy streets of Vienna and I loved perching on a bench here and just opening up a book in the sunshine. Talking of amazing views, you must visit the Physic Garden, which is just outside. Again, I could not believe these absolutely incredible mountain views just from the gardens around the park. Again, there are benches to perch on and you can feed the ducks. And just look at these amazing mountain views. It was just like a fairy tale or something out of the sound of music. If you go beyond the gates, you can go to this amazing pavilion area as well. There wasn't much to do here apart from go around the pavilion and admire the amazing mountain views from a different angle. But again, you can get these incredible views with very little effort and it was just amazing to me. It kind of blew my mind. It honestly felt like I was walking through a scene from The Sound of Music. Tickets to Admont Abbey Library currently cost 16 euros a person. Now, this may seem steep, but there is so much more to Admont Abbey Museums than just the library. Your ticket gets you access to four more museums, including the Gothic Museum. As its name suggests, they have tons of portraits and statues from the Gothic era, which relate to the connection to God. Amazingly enough, this was all collected by a single collector called Kuno Eric Meyer, who lived in Vorarlberg. After the Gothic Museum, you need to head to the Art History Museum. I particularly love this portrait of the Maiden of Streckau from 1720 and in complete contrast they have a modern art museum as well 
Admont's Museum of Contemporary Art has over 1,500 pieces by 160 local artists from Austria. And lastly, my favourite was the Natural History Museum. This was truly a cabinet of curiosities and had all sorts of stuff. There were jars filled with snakes, butterfly collection, an entire exhibition on wax fruit that one of the monks made, crystals, minerals, and lots and lots of taxidermy. So definitely proceed with caution if you are sensitive. Admont Town is also worth exploring, and don't forget you're on the gateway to the National Park Gisaus. It's famous for the Enns Valley, which you can either explore on foot or whitewater rafting, and there's an information center to find out more. So yes, although it was a long journey to see this library, there is so much more to Admont than meets the eye. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please remember to subscribe for more magic. Thank you.